I'm Kenneth William. I'm from Agoma village, Umoji, in the Demli North, local government area, Anambra State. I'm 31. I was born in East Umoji. I grew up in Umoji. I go to school in Umoji. I go to school in Aba, too. Then I go to my secondary school in, in um, um, Bo, our lady secondary school in Bo. From what year to what year? So, I couldn't remember, but, but I came out in I came out in 2003. That was my JSS SS2. I came out. I dropped out. I didn't finish. I came out and I went to serve at Newe. I want to learn trade. What trade? Uh, electrical pass. With who? With Ugokutis. Ugokutis. We deal in electrical pass and electrical cable. Your girl, who is it to you? Is it your town's person? Or your no, member? it's just no. It's never any. It's never my relatives. It's through my in-law that I went there. My in-law, who was a doctor, but he's dead now. He's no more. Uh, I stayed there like uh, three years. After I finished, I opened my own in that descent line where we sell. Then after like uh, seven months. Then I travel out. On the 19th of uh, July, one uh, Kelechuku Williams Mojoku appeared from Ghana to visit what he called his girlfriend, one Njide uh, Kalizi Shokubude, a 39 year old businesswoman. We've been told that uh, the two people met in Ghana in the course of the women's business trips and they got acquainted and that this young man has visited this lady twice. The third one was a tragedy because he came in on the 18th and at about 0 to 0 0 hours of 19th he woke up the security man at the gate of plot 34 Green Estate Amodo where the woman lived and said I he was sent by the lady to go to an ATM machines and withdraw money for her. The security man innocently opened the gates and he drove off with uh, the woman's uh, Land Rover Jeep with registration number AKY509AZ and disappeared. By the time it was daybreak, about 10-15 uh, hours, the woman's door was not opened and she didn't come out. And that arose the suspicion of the spirit man, who now calls the eldest brother of the woman. He used the ladder and peeped into the woman's bedroom and found her dead and the blood of her blood. That was the beginning of his problem. This young man immediately crossed over with that woman's vehicle to Ghana. This uh, was the woman's picture while alive. And this is what we found. Now, the boy disappeared to Ghana. Um, the area commander, area E, got in touch with us and uh, we got in touch with uh, the Interpol and the police in Ghana were contacted. The woman's vehicle was struck and uh, by the time the boy was arrested with the vehicle, he was almost on his way out of Ghana. Because prior to that time, the one time, got himself a new international passport bearing the woman's surname so that that will ease his exit with the loot. He was arrested as usual and brought back here and um, we've been told that he went out with lots of money, what in hard currencies, jewelries and so on and so forth. We are working on that to get those things recovered. But the lesson here is, this is a boy who called that lady a girlfriend and with the intention, because by making this passport down, already had the intention of committing the crime, I think he committed. Came down from Ghana, got the woman killed, took her properties and wanted to escape, or escaped to Ghana and from Ghana, wanted to escape, he was caught at the border. 
which is already, it's loads already packed inside the woman's rib. Our advice is that people who are entering relationships should know who and who they are getting involved with and that as usual anybody who commits that type of crime in Lagos will face the consequences. Tell me what year did you open your own? I opened my own in 2005 or right, 2006. So I do my own business like seven months before I travel out. A friend came back from South Africa, said he would like if I can come over, if my people can provide money that he could help me. I have an apartment over there that he will help me. So that is how I, I live in Newi. I came to Lagos here to do my paper. After everything, I go with the guy. But him, he traveled before, before I travel and go there. So I lived there. I stayed there two months and some days. So one day, I'm in the house with one of my one guy too that I met there. So I don't know what the guy, I don't know what happened. Some uh, immigration officers came into the house just take us because I never have a paper, I never have residence paper and all that things. I never they go out. I just come and no lose in the room. They just take us, bring us back to Nigeria. So I came back to Nigeria the same year. I go back to East. I stay East like six months. Then I came back, I traveled to uh, Côte d'Ivoire, Abidjan. I traveled there, I stayed there, there I started selling okreka, okay, second hand clothing. I started to sell okreka, for I carry, I would go and open, I started to sell. After the, after that was 2011, that when there was war in Abidjan, Babu and Alassane. I moved from Abidjan, I run because everybody is moving there because they are killing people. So we run from there to Ghana. I was in Ghana till after the war's end because I don't have any money with me to come back. Even to turn into Ghana is someone that assists me. So after everything in Ghana, after when the war end, I was carrying goose. I help people to off-road goose. So after I raised more money, I came back to Nigeria which my people raised more money for me, I go back. That was still 2011? Yes, that is how I now stay in Ghana. So since that time, I'm in Ghana. I stay in Ghana, let me call it, one year later, I rent an apartment on my own. When I went, I rent an apartment, then I'm there, still doing that Okreka business. That is what I'm doing till I till this incident. Tell me how you <laughs> met in Jideka. So I met in Jideka once at Hotel de Horses in Cantamanto. So he came to buy ladies ladies sapers and all that thing. So that time we are not friends. She just came and buy goods but we are in the same hotel. So after that day when she we are looking the goods that she bought so the lady thing that she bought, admiring it. So that is when she asked if we are Igbo. Say yes, she asked the side, I told her. She too said she's from Newi. So after that, we didn't see again. That first time. That was in 2012. That was 2011. 11. We didn't see again. So this year, February, I came to Nigeria. At Newi, I went to Newi to see my sister. I went to eat near Jidofo restaurant. I was passing, a friend was carrying me. So I saw Njideka standing by the side, but I couldn't recognize her because she has changed. So I passed, I was looking at her, then I asked my friend to pack. My friend pack, I go down. I go and meet her, I greet her. I say, please, do you remember me? She said, no. Say, your face looks familiar. So she too, she said, no, she didn't remember me. So who I am, I'm, I'm explaining myself, introduce myself to her. She was happy to see me again. So it's from there that Njide 
we changed contact. So the next day, she called me, asked me where I am. I said I'm at the hotel. So okay, I I should come over to the hotel where she stay. So that is how we started. Friendship. Yes, we start friendship. So later. When when did you go back to Ghana? When? I go back to Ghana like uh, I stay east almost a month. But before I go back, I came to Lagos. Njide has been to she too. She used to come and see me at the hotel there. Yeah, but that time I didn't know where she lives. So after when I came again, when I came again, when I go to village. So she too, she find me come to the village. Yes. Okay. yes. You went back to Ghana around March. Yes. So from Ghana, you continue to communicate with her. Yes. Okay. She too, she used to come to Ghana. When did she come to Ghana? The first time she came to Ghana, that she came to look. Uh, I go back one week. I go back. She came to Ghana. Let's say maybe other April. Okay. She came to she came to Ghana. She stay the first time she came. She stay one week. In your house yes in my house she yes okay. then let her she come back right. so then she come again she stay two weeks okay. uh, she has been uh, no in that the same march uh, that the same april okay. she stay like when she come back she stay like uh, three weeks before she came back again no uh, before she came to ghana again okay. at that so, time the love was so strong that's why so, she kept coming regularly yeah okay. so she come that time she came then when she come second time each time she come she brings money for you she gives you no money she money. don't bring money for me i'm no i i am no i i don't i'm i'm no rich but i'm not begging i'm managing my life tell us what yes. happened from the time you came back to nigeria i came on tuesday we stayed together on wednesday we went to the new house where she was uh, trying to pack in that day she wanted to go and buy AC. So when I came in, she said that the money she want to go and buy the AC with, it's not enough. But she want to buy the whole AC for the man to fix it, everything. Because she have like one week before she travel. So that morning, there's a one that a friend gave me, a customer. Okay, so yes. So mm -hmm. after everything, it's 300. Okay, yeah. So after everything, we went there together. So to the house, to the new house, we went there together. We are there till evening time. So when everything has already brought there, she went to market, bring everything, I'm there. So evening time, we go back home. On, when, on Thursday, we went out. Then we come back in the night. The next being Friday, I pack my things, I have to go to Ghana. She said, no, I should not go that Friday. I should go Saturday. She will stay with the day. Tomorrow, then they will pack out from the house. I should go. I said, okay. She said, evening time, that she told some of the friends that will go out with them. She want to show, she want to present me with the friends. I said, okay. So that day, I was in the house. Throughout, I didn't go anywhere. I was in the house till uh, 6. The gate man that took the generator to the new house for them to use to test the AC, everything they work there, both the water, see everything is working. He came back with the generator. So I asked him, where is your madam? He said that madam went to drop the workers. I said, hey, since when? Because I know him, I know her. Since when has she started going to drop the workers? And which I know that she will not do it. I said, okay. Don't worry again then after around eight she never came back i start calling her i start calling her till uh, that kind 11 something almost 12. she came back if i can count it it's almost that something missed call she didn't pick my call so when she came back she was drunk having tom tom in her hands giving me i say no I don't need to turn on. Where are you coming back and you are drunk like this? You are giving me turn on. And I'm calling you since you know I'll be worried. Calling you, calling you since I supposed to go today. You so say I should stay. That you have, we have to go somewhere to go and meet your friends. Look at the time you are coming back. 
and you are drunk coming back and I'm calling you. You don't even want to pick my call. She said that the phone is in silence. I bring her my phone and they call the line again. The phone was ringing. I say, boy, you say the phone is in silence. Is that not the phone ringing? She said, hey, that means she's lying. That means she's lying. So immediately a call came into the phone. So I asked her to pick the call. She started laughing. I asked her to pick the call. She don't want to pick the call. Then I take the phone from the table. There is a name on the phone, on the screen, with a man picture, a fine. So I didn't know him. I don't know. I never see him before. I pick the call. I put it in speak out. So the person now say, "Hello, baby. Have you reached home?" She snatched the phone from me, and they caught it. So we started quarreling. And I told her, okay, this is how to pay me back. You make me, because of you, I stay this night. I wanted to go in the morning, you so said I should not go. Now that we have your friends that we go out with. Now you leave me in the house to go and have fun with another man. If you know you should have do this, then why can't you let me go in the morning when I want to go? So we start quarreling over this. So after... I asked her to give me my money. She said, if I'm tired, I should leave her. I said, okay, give me back the money. Let me go back to Ghana. Let me go back to Ghana. She said, she told me, before I give her the money, that she didn't ask me to bring the money. She told me that she don't have money. That she don't have money. She bring her the ATM card. So I should take it and go and check. There is no money on it. Only one. There is money on it. And the money there... It's not up to my money. The money there is hundred and something thousand. Hundred and something thousand is in that ATM card. So I take the ATM card from her. Still ATM card. I take the ATM card from her. So we started dragging the phone. So okay, when we are dragging the phone out of annoyance, I break the phone on the ground. So she carried my bag through as she leave her house. The line, she slapped me. So when she slapped me, I slapped her back. She took one perfume on the table, Beyonce perfume, and hit me. The perfume fall on the ground and scatter. The perfume gave me a wound too. So on the line, she hold my shirt. I wear shirt like this shirt you are wearing. She hold the shirt. So I started fighting. I started beating her. Leave my neck, leave my neck. On the line, we fall on the this thing, we fall on the bed. There is a lapper. She used, she put on the lapper when she want to go and bath. She just crossed the wrapper. She wear against with one singlet. She put on the lapper like this. She want to enter the bedroom before we start pouring. So when we fall on bed, now I now hold the lapper. She hold my pricks. Now leave my penis. She don't want to. Then I hold the lapper. I hold the wrapper tight. Hold it tight on the line just like that. Just like that. So when I see that she's no she's not moving again. I don't know what to do. Okay. When you held the rapper, was she standing or you if you were on the bed? We, no, we are down. Okay. We're in the crown. Mm. So immediately I see she's no more responding. 
I don't know what to do. And I don't even remember anything again. So I just take the voice on the table, rush down. I don't have any money with me. I call the security. Say we should go to ATM. What did you tell the security? I don't tell I tell the ATM uh, the security man we well, should escort me to the ATM machine. You didn't tell him anything apart from that? No, I didn't tell him anything apart from that. Yeah. So we went to the ATM to withdraw money. So when we How reached much? there, we withdraw hundred and forty thousand. In the night, around two AM, Kelechi he came down and woke me up for my room. He told me that we want to go to ATN cards to withdraw money for bank because they want to go club that night, that 2 a.m. So I now follow him because she's always do it. That's why I now go or I go up to Asa. So from there we go. I withdraw hundred thousand. I give him. After I give him the hundred thousand finish, we are coming back. He dropped me for the gate. He told me that he want to go and pick him friend, so that they will go together with my madam. So I come down from there, I used Lake go house. He went away with the security man here, tell him that my sister said that uh, he should go and bring money in the ATM, that they want to go out. Everything is inside the bag because he sacked the bag. Even the, rich, the gold rich watch my sister is wearing that Friday night. The watch is not here. I asked him the boy, he went away with, his, with the gold, he packed the woman gold. The security man withdraw the money and give to the boy because he tell the security man that the that uh, the, his madam said that they should go and withdraw money because the madam normally send the security man to go and bring money for her there. So they I withdraw the money. On our way going back to the house, the tire spoiled. Something break the tire at the gate. So it's the gate man that showed me the thing. So I told the gate man, okay, you should go back home. Let me go and do the tire. So when I reached to do the tire, I couldn't see where to do the tire. And I can't leave the car there and run and go. Because I never I never know that if they find the car, they will get it. So my mind, I don't know, my mind is not set. As me and him follow commod, he no even talk like somebody do bad thing or like that. He didn't fear. He no no tell me anything. No tell me anything. So what happened? So, Somebody, I get somebody on the line. That was that time, they has already break. I get somebody that helped me call somebody, they bring tire for me. Around six o'clock, I wake up, the guy is not come back. I now call him for phone. After I call him for phone, I call him for phone. He told me that, yes, yesterday he called my madam. She didn't, he won't, she won't, she no go, go to the club again that night. So let him go with him, friend. So. I called him. She told me that he's coming back. Let me relax. I'm com he's coming back. I said, okay. And from there, I start work. It's from there I continue. Because it's around my two days, I repair the tire. So I say, man, I say, please, I need somebody to drive me out of this country. Please. So the man said I should give her 5000 I said, I don't have 5000 I have 4000 The man said, okay. He's a commercial motor driver, I think. So he just drive me. I don't even talk to the man. The man keep on asking me what is the problem. That I'm bothered. What is the problem? I'm not talking to him. I don't talk to the man. The man just drive me and leech the border. So I t I, what I ask him is that can I get somebody that will drive me to Ghana? So he say he can't I drive. I say no, I can't drive. He say okay. So he call one man there. So the man drive me. I give the man ten thousand. The man drive me to Ghana. Please, how were you able to pass through the border? Do oh. you have any document for the vehicle? Uh, the documents is on the car. Okay. It's on the car. So when I come, I give the guy, the driver, the guy that drive me, he go and they do the things and come back. I stamp my passport and pass. Mm. So he go, he's the one doing the things because it's like he's used to the road. Mm. So, so you took the phones with you, Jide's phone? Yes, I took the phone. How many of our phones? I took three phones. Did any call come in from that period that you left Nigeria? That, that, that On that morning? phone? Mm. No. No, no, call call came, no call came in that phone. Mm. The hotline is the one I post when we are fighting. What did you say to Chris when Chris called you? No, brother? I called Chris. Okay. Yes, I called Chris. To tell him? At the border, when the people stopped me, mm. they said that the car is stolen car. So I called Christ. I called him. When I called him, 
Immediately I called him. He started asking me. I said I love the sister. I said I love the sister. Why do I kill the sister? That is when I start crying. I tell him, start telling him, Uncle, it's never intention. That is, 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 is death that we are fighting. This very particular boy now, he called me 27 minutes after 11 in the night. I said, why are you calling me? After murdering my sister, is that how you love him? Is that how you say you love the kid? That you want to marry? Because from business you say you want to marry. My sister said that you are a small boy, you can't marry me. You see? So it may be, I don't know whether that is the intention he do that thing. But he went away with the money. $50,000. Immediately, the people, the police people said I'm shouting. That I'm shouting. When I'm crying, they come and take the phone from me. And they cut it off. You were in Ghana till Tuesday or Wednesday? Yes, until Tuesday. And you started going to Ivory Coast? Yes. Right. So how were you arrested? I was arrested at the border. After I bothered them, I was arrested. How was the body of Injideke discovered? Uh, her daughter. She wake up in the morning, she go for her mommy room, she knock the door, nobody answer her, and the door was locked. And the guy removed the key. So she told me that maybe her mommy, she not come back that yesterday night. I said, no, she came back yesterday night. So I follow her, they go upstairs. After I go upstairs, I knock, no, no, she no answer me. And now see the door is locked. So from there, I call her for phone. After I call her for phone, the number is switched off. I call the second light, the number is switched off. I now go to the children's room. I meet the house girl. I ask her, let her call uh, our madam number. Maybe there is network problem for my phone. She called the number, the number is switched off. After that, I went I went out from that time. I go for our neighbor house. I take ladder from there. After I take ladder from there, I now go put it for parlor, for dances. I climb the ladder. After I climb the ladder, I open window. I see her. She's lying down for the room. And there is foam for her mouth. So after that, I discovered that the guy is still my, uh, my madam. I close the window. After I close the window, I come down. I call the uncle. Just in the morning, I get that news that um, I should come, that they don't know what is happening here, that they are calling my sister that did not answer. You see? So I now rush down here. I asked the security man. Immediately I enter, I did not see her motor in the compound, Range Rover Sports. I said, where is my sister motor? Who go out with it? He said that in a case. I said, what happened? Where is my sister? I leave her, I climb up. I start knocking her in that door. The door is locked. Sister, sister, nobody answer me. So I now call out of my brothers. When they come here, we then decided to go to police and report. So we then go to Festac police station here. We went and report the case. Police now come here. When they come, they snap the door. Carpenter opened the door. They snap the carpenter again. We go inside. We saw my sister lying down. There is foam coming out from her mouth. That is the end. While Kalechuku insists he has been friends with Indy Deka for several years, Chris, the uncle, has a different take. They met at Nnewi. There is one hotel at Nnewi, they call it Njidofo Hotel. My sister went there and ate food. After eating, she's waiting for motor outside because she did not go with her car. So that is where this boy chased her from the hotel, come out, start talking to her that he wants to marry her, that uh, please, that the conference, that him, that he's based in South Africa, that he come down to Nigeria, that his family is worrying him to come and marry. The boy is from Umoji. So my sister called me on phone and tell me that there is a boy here, that, that this boy did stop him. That make I please, that can I talk to this boy so the boy will leave him alone. When I talk to the boy, the boy tell me that um, he see my sister, that he love her, he want to marry, that he want to marry this, this, this. I can't tell him, I said, and I saw that they marry woman. When you see woman, you say you want to marry somebody where you don't know before. He said no, that he want to marry her, that she just see her and like, and like her. So I can't ask him, what are you doing for a living? He said that um, in the South Africa, the hustle. I said, which type of hustle? Before you go to South Africa, where are you there? He said that in the market for Newi, go to Ghana, that he have shop in Ghana, that he house there for Ghana. 
I said, what are you selling in Ghana? He said, shoe. So when he said that shoe, now my sister is interested. So my sister and tell her, tell him that he will come to Ghana to bought goose. Even I can prove the very day my sister went to Ghana because I have the ECOWAS passport, the date, everything is there. So when he, when he go there, he, he stay at in hotel. This, this boy went and meet her, begging her to come to his house. He said no. So finally, the boy helped help her to bought everything when he wanted to buy in Ghana. So when my sister, the boy do the way bill for her, my sister enter flight and come back. So when he come back, he went to Chisco to go and carry those those things, those goods, when the boy sent for, for her. So he was telling me that this boy is very nice, that he's very caring, that if I see as he help, uh, if I see as he help her for Ghana. So finally, he now transfer money again for the boy. He said you should pick those goods and bring it for her again. He give her the second money. The boy bring down the goods to Nigeria. This third one, my sister tell her that she will not have chance to come to Ghana, that she want to travel for holiday with her children, all of her children. He have bought the ticket, the ticket is inside my car. He tell the boy that he's packing to her new house, that he will not have chance, that he will come down to Nigeria to collect the money. So on Sunday when I close from church, I come to my sister's place, I meet my sister eating. So finally he called that uh, IK, that uh, KC. He tell KC that I'm here. KC say uh, that make you give me phone, that you greet me, you greet KC. KC say uh, that he want to come to Nigeria, that he would like to see me. I say okay, when you come now, my sister say make you come on Monday, say no, that he will come on Tuesday. And that Tuesday, KC is here. He's here to collect the money. So finally what happened, on, the, on, Thursday, on Wednesday, I come here to give my sister some documents, I meet that KC. Me and Ingrid finish. After greeting finish, I give my sister the documents. I went away. I went away. On Thursday, uh, 20, 25 minutes after five, 27 minutes after five, my sister called me. I said, "Sister, this one when they called me this early morning, what thing happened?" He said, "No, that I don't want to come and know the new house where he's parking to. That I'm supposed to come there. Make I come. Make I say I say that place be and that's it. They repair all everywhere. So I promised her that I will come." That day, I went there. Later, as we are discussing, that case is calling her. He will give, he said, tell Casey that he's sitting with his brother. My sister will give me phone. I will talk to Casey that we are together, this, this, that. So, I can't ask my sister, why this boy never go? My sister said, make you wait. That thing want to give her money. On that Friday, when I asked my, my sister, said, won't give her money. When we take buy market for him. That thing want to change money, $50,000. Um, and the, and the, he will give him 100,000, make it take enter flight. That he don't tell him that he will not go through road with that money. So that he go enter flight, he will give him 100,000, make enter flight, take go. That is all. I left that place around 5 o'clock in the evening. My sister escort me. When we reach out my car, we start discussing. I said, sister, go inside, let me go. He, we go to the mall and there. He went and buy Tonton. He said, brother, take Tonton. I don't know that is the last time I will see her. Thank you. Uh, I am Bien Wapaniu and I am the operations manager in Nigeria. Uh, if you talk about this our leader, actually first and foremost I have to clarify that she is not our staff, she is our independent distributor. Okay. And in our company, we are like a family. So she's part of our family. And of course, one of your family will be gone. You should be missing her. And we are missing her a lot, especially because we are closest, one of the closest friends that I have here in Nigeria, you know. And then uh, I could say that the impact that she's bringing to our company is really tremendous because she is the type of uh, leader that she is really leading by example. And that's why she is one of our top leaders in the company. Okay, what was her relationship with, like, with other staff of the company? Well, she is mama of everybody. She's very generous. She has a willingness to, to really uh, accept all, all, all kind of people, whether you are a staff, whether you are the lowest rank. 
in our company. She's, she's very generous. There is no item place for a criminal. The police caught up with Kelechuku barely a week after committing the crime. An unprecedented case of excellent policing. Though the suspect fled through several West African countries in a bid to escape justice, the police tracked him with the assistance of Interpol and finally brought him back to Nigeria to face justice. She said that I'm a hustler. That is what she said. So even my phone sometimes she used to write it. That she liked me because the way I have a hustling spirit, the way I hustle. It's so painful. Me, I. But why are you crying I'm and pretend pretending now? You, you I'm not pretending. I never planned to why kill her. Why did you drop the car and run? That is. Why that did is, you take her passports? No, I take never take. I never take her passport. Why did you withdraw money? For, why did you lie to the security man? Why didn't you drop the vehicle and, and just disappear? To, why did you yes, go to the church the to go and celebrate? Hey, I never celebrate. The the car, the car. The car and the phone I took, that is the only mistake I did. That is the only mistake I did. I never planned to kill him today. And I can never think of killing him today. But when they were calling you, when they were tracking you, you were calling the phone. Sometimes they will call the phone, you will pick the call, you will not talk. No. Why were you doing that no. if really you felt sorry about what you have done? See. Why didn't you call the security or try to rush her to hospital? <laughs> When I touch her, she's not responding. And I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. But you are not confused to go and withdraw money from it. No. Why are you? Because I don't have any money. You are not with confused me. to fix so, the tire. No. Why are you? are not confused to get a driver. I'm just not looking for a way to run out. To I'm only looking to for a way to run out. I'm only looking for a way to. That is only what is in my head. I'm only looking for a way to run out. I'm only looking for a way to run away. Because I know, I know I have committed, I have committed more than.